Welcome to Kingdom Cooking. I'm your host, Romel Moore and Cook. Today we're going to be doing an excellent, uh, quick dish called garlic noodles. As you can see, I'm on location. I want to give you a quick glimpse. Coronado, right across the bridge in San Diego. It's sunset time, but it's pretty cloudy, or you would see it setting. Anyway, we're going to get cooking. Now, the first thing we want to do, of course, is get our garlic chopped up. This is about a whole clove. I'm going to get it chopped up. want to put the flat of your knife on top of get it nice and aggressive if you hit it good the whole thing pretty much comes right off just peel it voila practice of course makes perfect this was two of them, so we're going to get that off. Hope everyone's in good health, enjoying your weekend. So today I want to talk about consecration. It may sound like a religious term. But these are the days we need to, if you um, have been born again for a while and you know a little bit about consecration, these are the days we need to re-consecrate ourselves to God. So we're going to, we have these peeled, we're going to go and slice them. They don't have to be very thin, but we want to chop them up pretty good. And so... As I was saying, these are the days with everything that's going on, we need to re-consecrate ourselves. Consecrate pretty much means to set yourself apart for the Lord. And the way that we can do that is by uh, detaching ourselves from certain things like social media or you know watching certain type of programming or even people that's in your life you know uh, we all have have and know friends and family who are negative complain a lot have a very dismal view of life and so when you Consecrating yourself for God or to God, um, a lot of that has to do with just setting yourself apart. You're saying, Lord, uh, I want to rededicate myself to you. I'm, that doesn't mean you're trying to be born again, again. That just means that you're going out of your way to do certain things to separate yourself from negativity, from other voices and influences. And preparing intentionally, impairing your heart, your mind, your thoughts uh, toward God. So it's a good thing. We need more of that in these days. And so I want to talk about that as we dice up this garlic. So as you can see, it, nice little bits. I'm just going to dice it a little bit more. It don't have to be real fine. For uh, garlic noodles. So I think it's important that we take time out uh, with all the negativity and division and games and poli politics that's going on and fighting. The enemy is very busy uh, using propaganda and uh, fake news and the power of the media to 
get his children to do what he wanted them to do. And so God's children need to have the same or even more commitment to advance the kingdom of heaven. And so the way that we get that accomplished is by first consecrating and setting ourselves aside solely and specifically for the Lord to use and speak to. There we go. Now we're using regular spaghetti. I'm putting in about a half of a bag. Drop it right in there. I'm gonna let that cook. I've already put some salt in there, so we're gonna let that cook down. Once the noodles are ready, it's gonna be very quick, but I promise you this is absolutely delicious. While we wait, just take a nice little scene of this beautiful beach in Coronado. So sometimes to properly consecrate or reconsecrate ourselves, we need to get away, change our whole scenery. Uh, you may not be able to make it to somewhere like this. Uh, just a hotel for a weekend and get away or just, you know, getting away. Let, let the people that's important to you know, hey, I'm getting ready to go on a fast or, you know, go on a little sabbatical for the weekend. Let them know so they're not worried. And it's just you getting along with God showing him you mean business turning off the noise of the world opening up your scripture uh, maybe fasting uh, meals for that day and just meaning business and inviting the Holy Spirit in to speak to you so that you're not moved by all the voices that's out here that you're not moved by the negativity and your focus and you're able to hear from God yourself let's get back to cooking now we're getting ready to get started with frying the noodles. Now I have about a tablespoon of butter in here. I'm gonna let it melt. And I'm gonna add a little olive oil. You don't have to add any. And then we're gonna add the garlic, then the noodles. And it'll be over just that quick. So, you know, one of the most important things we can do as human beings on earth is to pursue our creator. And we know that Jesus is Lord. And so there's nothing that God yearns to do more than meet with us on an individual basis, especially during these type of times because he wants to give us the answers with the things that we're dealing with. Okay? The Bible says, be not conformed to the things of this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. And many times we need to separate so that God can educate. We need to separate so we can learn how to meditate and he can give us revelation. Revelation does not come without meditation. Okay, so that's melting pretty good. No. I have the garlic here. We're gonna add it in. Here we go. Nice and heated up now. We just want to mix that in. I don't want it to cook too much. Just give it a minute or so to heat up and cook. Now, for you garlic lovers, you can put as much garlic as your heart's desire. Okay. Like I said, this is about a whole clove, depending on how big of a clove you have. Now, the next thing you want to do is add a little bit of oyster sauce. If 
about a half a tablespoon. Mix that up a little bit. Okay. I still need my olive oil. Just gonna put a little bit in there. About a teaspoon. Now, the oyster sauce is gonna give it a nice little kick. Okay. And some flavor. And it's gonna also darken it a little bit. Now we're gonna add the noodles. And what we want to do here, want to use this to lift it and mix it. As we lift it up, see, we're mixing it, grabbing a little bit of the garlic, and we want to mix that in. It's very important that you actually grab the noodles to keep them loose, lift them up, and mix it in. Okay, now, now I want to add a little garlic salt, not a whole lot, and some Parmesan cheese, not a whole lot, depends on if you're a cheese lover, Parmesan cheese is going to help it stick a little bit, Just keep lifting it. Mix that garlic in there pretty good. Season it a little bit more. Might add a little pepper too. A little more cheese. See how easy that is? garlic noodles back in there. Quick, easy. And once we plate it, a lot of people add a little more Parmesan cheese on the top. That's totally up to you. Look at that there. All right. Let's plate it. garlic noodles. Bon appetit. God bless you. This is Romel. Don't forget, man shall not live by bread alone, but by, but by every word that proceed out of the mouth of God. He wants to uh, supply, nourish our physical uh, body along as with our spiritual body. May God bless you.